Okay, this here is the Messerschmitt uh, grain mill for the KitchenAid mixers. It just attaches easily right here. Um, there's some things I like about this and there's some things that I don't like about it. Um, it's made out of Lexan, so it's, it's a very strong plastic. Um, and if you've researched grain mills at all that are attachments, um, you may learn that uh, certain attachments will wear out your KitchenAid. Now we have uh, here the Epicurean, which is kind of the higher end consumer model. I'm just taking this apart because I want to show you some things. Uh, the higher end consumer model and my wife makes quite a bit of bread so she's grinding wheat all the time and over maybe three years of making her own bread uh, on a weekly basis um, three to four loaves uh, a week um, it stripped the gears now it wasn't uh, the KitchenAid is about 13 years old now so it's lasted quite a while but when we got this uh, and I replaced uh, the worm gear on the inside of my KitchenAid but anyway so that is a factor when you're buying attachments for KitchenAid uh, mixers if you can if you have an entry-level mixer this one puts less resistance and less strain than even the KitchenAid according to some reviews uh, the KitchenAid uh, grain mill and it actually grinds finer than the KitchenAid uh, grain mill. Um, but what you have here is a plastic worm screw and this feeds the grain as it goes through the hopper to the actual grinder right here. And this is an attachment or this knob here changes how fine or coarse and it does grind it very fine. But um, this has gotten damaged it actually fell in the sink um, into the garbage disposal and it ran on the garbage disposal so it has some nicks on it um, I would prefer that this was a metal piece um, other than plastic because it's a moving part but it has held up quite a bit now this can grind one cup of flour in one minute and this hopper holds five cups um, I think that that is on the coarse setting. Um, for finer, it does take longer. But um, and when you're mixing flour, if you choose to get one of these, or if, if you're grinding wheat for flour, um, what we found to be helpful, and this goes together fairly uh, simply. It's not difficult to figure out which parts go where, and it is uh, easy to clean. But as you're mixing or grinding your, your wheat, um, you want to cover just with a towel because it does get dusty. So just cover this section here with a towel into the bowl or whatever. So as the wheat's going down and it's creating the powder, some of it gets airborne. So we put a towel over it. But this is a good mixer. It's a grain mill. It's a hundred and... $20 ish online and I do recommend it um, but I do wish that worm screw was um, metal that's pretty much my only concern that and it does uh, any attachment that puts strain on the orbital planetary that's what it's called on the mixer um, is going to wear out the gears so just be aware of that you may want to get your own um, machine designed entirely for grain uh, milling if you're concerned about that. So anyway, that's my review of the Messerschmitt grain mill. Thanks for watching.